a major Chinese supermarket chain. It's called RT Mart. Has had to apologize. <laughs> Wait, what's funny? I don't know. What? I don't know. What? I don't know. <coughs> what's funny? You're making me cough. <laughs> You're Which right, part is funny? <laughs> is it the Mart? I don't know. No, but we have Kmart here. That's not funny. <laughs> Theirs is called RT Mart. <laughs> He's in the... Go, keep going. <laughs> so they have had to apologise profusely yeah. <laughs> to customers because you will never guess what they've done. Oh, my goodness. Furious. They obviously sell clothes in there. Sorry, they don't obviously, but they do sell clothes in their supermarket. Yeah. Sorry, my brother told me not to use the word obviously, and I agreed that I shouldn't, and I just used it. So Obviously. Um, <laughs> you obviously so, did. So, and ever since then, I like whenever I say, oh, it's not obvious. Stop saying it. <laughs> um, What's the opposite so of obvious, obvious Emma? <laughs> I'm obvious. <laughs> I'm obvious. <laughs> Anyways, keep so, going. So... They had clothing, lab- like clothes, right? And on the labels mm. for the sizes, so like you've got your small, medium, large, extra large, double XL. And next to each size. So, so there's nothing that fits <clears throat> me. Next Bastards. to each size, they write a description. So <laughs> next to size, uh, sorry, next to size, small. Um, small and medium were beautiful for small and medium was slim <laughs> yeah large is rotten xl terrible and double xl extremely terrible <laughs> what this was, i'm extremely terrible this was <laughs> on their their wait wait can i give the benefit of doubt saying that it's lost in translation no okay. because they um okay. okay yeah they they issued the public <laughs> apology and um they said that it was a inappropriate wording. Yeah. This and it's in Chinese. It was not in English. Yeah. So if you can actually see so the I, sign, I it's all un- in there. I wouldn't have understood language because it, it's in China. So it was the Chinese customers that were annoyed. Like, right. what the hell? Um, <laughs> so what happened to sumo wrestlers when they go there to buy clothes? I don't know. They're like triple, triple, quadruple X. So. Um, or did a lot like, of the customers the are threatening to boycott. Like your apology is not accepted. See you on my blacklist, RT Mart. Um, but uh, I looked in. Like it said, obviously in China. No, it's not obvious in China. Um, that it's 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 considered beautiful to be slim, right? Yeah, I don't and think it's that just that in China. <laughs> it's not everywhere. Yeah. 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 No, I'm a big no, guy. it's not. No, it's not everywhere. There's some. There's some places. Why are you saying I'm a example, beautiful? Emma? <laughs> some African countries prefer like women to be have meat on their bones. Everyone has meat on their bones. Uh, to be yeah, a little bit more some plump. Me, so some people got a little bit of meat, and some people like me got a lot of because meat. Because it's a it's a symbol that they're they have enough food wealthy. to eat. They're wealthy. So like the bigger you are, the wealthy. Yeah, but that's Western not women. World. That's men. That's no, no, no. You're and, talking about the plump men. Not just men, yeah. the women. Plump men. Plump men are women. Uh, uh, His, historically, in the Western world, it was the same. Men and women. If you were yeah. bigger, it just meant you, you, you were wealthy by the implicit nature of having more resources to be able to, be, yeah. to be. feed yourself. Yeah. You know, like, the, like one of the young ladies the at my the... work was telling me in her country, like they'll be fighting over me because I'm a hefty <laughs> fellow. Oh, CJ. <laughs> You're I'll one. Take a stick. Get back, ladies. Get back. <laughs> You're one. But Listen, think mate, about the no, olden. There's enough of me to go around. There isn't. There is. If you think about the olden day paintings and like the Greek, you know, with the they've got the the they're naked and they've got the not cherubs, but they've got the um not cherubs like little boars material draped over there. They're all plump, aren't they? The women. Oh, are they in the yeah no. yeah. I know what you're saying. That, that, that's the same as like um uh. I guess Asian countries saying that the lighter you are, the more richer you are. Yeah, because you're not in this working in the. You're sun. not a working class <clears throat> citizen. You're yeah. indoors. That's why yeah, you're but, pale. But hold on, here. you could be dark and not work in the sun as well. 
This is no, true. I, uh, yeah, but like <laughs> to the point that they use soap to whiten their skin. Like even if they oh, did work on. in the sun. How? Hold on. How do you use soap to whiten your skin? There's skin soap whitening. Whitener. It's, it's like, specific type of yeah. soap. Yeah. I've never, I've never heard of it. It's like probably because it's creams. not a practice it's not just in Australia. Soap, there's creams as well. You can if you even go to the local, um, what's it called? To- Tong Lee, the yeah. Asian supermarket. They no, sell no, no the whitening. Need drop, no need to drop names. It's a supermarket. Oh, okay. are, 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 are they paying for advertising? No. <laughs> no, no, freaking say their name. <laughs> no, it's not an actual person. It's a supermarket. Mr. They Tom. find the no, no name. Did a no name supermarket? Because like, you want your name to be no, spelled out. Me, and me, pay us. Me and my sister, we love like getting tans and stuff. But then when we went back, they're like, "Oh, you're very, you're very tanned." I was like, "Yes, we are." <laughs> We're like, "Yes, we are." <laughs> but it's and they're like, like, "God, they're so poor in Australia." Yeah, they're so poor, and I'm like, "Huh? We're rich as fuck." <laughs> um so well in china it's culturally and historically um dictated that the females are slim Mm. or skinny by what do you mean by western standards um like if they're they're a bit if they're a bit plump mm -hmm. i look down on pon yeah Mm. they basically say there's no such thing as big as big bones there but there's a trend um on social media called hashtag A4 challenge and women are like putting a piece of A4 paper like they'll just uh, where their bra is will be the top and they let it hang and their waist must be slimmer than that A4 paper what A4 paper. what yeah. uh, what A4 so like you you put it there like you can see picture if you look at A4 challenge like it ha- the waist can't be you know the paper ha- it has to be thinner than the paper I'm not yeah. Oh wow. Oh, I do it That's the other disgusting. way. I do it the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I do it with Oh way. yeah, so the A4 <laughs> challenge is, is portrait. Yeah, yeah. Like, if, if if I'm the size of the paper there's something wrong. Yeah, I'm going to do landscape I need, mode. I, I, need, <laughs> I need to eat more. <laughs> oh. That's this like seriously. That's just disgusting. There's one here where the girls are like in yoga with the paper in there. Yeah, A4 challenge. Wow. I just, I just, I searched Twitter for A4 challenge, and the very first tweet that comes up: If you have an issue with the A4 challenge, you're probably just a dried up feminist. <laughs> really? What? Oh my Hold goodness! On. And what what, not, what article not, is that? I am not dried up or feminist. no. It was just a tweet. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> but like. Uh, Okay, there's one young lady I'm seeing a picture of her. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, she looks phenomenal, and she's outside of the A4 paper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, that's good. Like, like, damn. <laughs> this is madness. <laughs> like, and there's there's this other one that's inside the A4 paper. Yeah. Uh, she looks quite sick. We should start our own trend. What? Um, A1. <laughs> A1 paper. Landscape. Dude, dude, dude. Landscape. Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> I, I don't want to have to go on a diet, all right? <laughs> you scumbag. <laughs> it's, it's, okay? Hey, do you know A1's bigger? Yeah, A5 is smaller. Oh, yeah. A6 is... Do you know how the A, the paper sizes work, CJ? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were thinking that A1's was really small. They're, uh, no, I, the I, golden I, ratio. A four, A three, A two, A one. Larger or smaller? No, no the size is A four is the normal page. Yeah. That we have. Yeah. A three is more like a little bit of a poster. Yeah. Then I think A two is the actual poster, or A one is the actual poster. Yeah. They're, they're golden ratioed, so if you take an A four and put two portrait A four side by side, you have an A three. You put two portrait A three side by side, you have an A two. Wow. I only learned that for my recent maths exam, which Alexander helped me. (laughs) (laughs) That is just way too skinny. It is skinny. Mm. Ah, When you said it, I'm not going to lie. I was a bit nervous when you said the A4 challenge. Like they hold up this piece of paper and I was like, are we going down the line of they're trying to be as thin as a piece of paper? Oh Oh my (laughs) gosh. (laughs) Oh. Oh. (laughs) I don't. Where would the organs fit? 
<laughs> but <laughs> but I just in can't jar, believe in a jar next <laughs> to you. The thing is, I just can't believe that this supermarket put that on their label. Rotten, terrible, well, extremely well, if, terrible. If there's like if there's things like this going around the A4 challenge. Don't you think um, that's something that coach the coach they're doing? I've noticed all of these skinny chicks have got no boobs. Mm. You're looking very hard. Uh, yeah. I like this observation. A, I am a boob man. <laughs> so like no boobs. I'm Beep, ba, 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 Sorry, ba, ba, like, ladies. Ba, 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 ba. Beep, you skinny ba, 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 ba. bitches, move please. I don't understand why they have their You're hand not. wrapped around their back. Where? When? Like, you see these oh, girls? Oh, yeah. W- what's that supposed to mean? Maybe that they're thin, that they're they try, can try, do that. Try, try and make themselves thinner. Because, like, so, they can wrap it right round and touch their belly because they're oh. thin. Oh. So is No, the... this is girls put um, fish on collarbone challenge. Oh, I've seen coins. <laughs> I was, yeah, I just saw coins when I was looking at the A4 challenge. Oh. But is, so is this a, like... Because, you know, typically Asian, well, at least Chinese, Japanese, Northern Asian, are generally smaller people. Like, they're more petite, but, like, yeah. shorter, more petite, smaller. Is that because they've culturally, because of the way they view beauty and stuff, that they just haven't varied enough in their genetic... Like, I'm tr- is, it, is, it, is, it, ha- is it environment or... Because Japanese people used to bind their, bind their feet. Mm. To make it smaller, so I think the whole petite thing is a is a cultural thing. Being petite is, mm. yeah, it's in it's ingrained in them. If you have big feet, I don't know what is what does it mean to have big feet in Japanese. Uh, if a girl has big feet, you have you, you got to buy big shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but they they don't do that anymore. Well, oh, I know. Well, it's not legal. I don't think they might do it in some places, but. What one girl turned the paper around the other way, and she put nailed it. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some uh, some satirical yeah. takes on this. They're quite good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so, sorry, ladies. So, I, I I don't need to have the biggest the biggest chest in the relationship. I'm sorry to say. I've watched like documentaries of foot binding before, and it's you feel so bad for them. Yeah. It's so painful, and they but but like the corset, people used to do the corset as well, right? Like, yeah. what was the point of the See, corset that, to have a thin that's waist? Come back, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. It's, it's the hourglass shape. The hourglass yeah. shape is meant to be good for children. The the corset has come back in a kind of a big way through the fitness industry, isn't it? Like, there's a lot of women now. <laughs> Yeah. Who use uh, waist shapers, they call them. Yeah, yeah. Right. The Kardashians use them. Right. and yeah. I've got friends who I, use I, them. I was, was going to say, that'd be a nightmare to take off. You're getting lucky on a date. Three hours later, you're still trying to take it off. <laughs> <laughs> they just have an iron, buck, iron hook one now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not trying to untie it. Sweetheart, I'm, getting, how, a, I'm getting, scissors. I'm getting scissors. I'm getting scissors. I'm going, pop, 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 pop. Buy your own laces. Bad luck. I'm, <laughs> pop, 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 pop. I'm, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I'd be like, seriously, I'm over it. But to be honest, it's it's happened through history. So in Africa, they have the they they increase the necks yeah. in one place yeah. in one place. But there's also like tribes that the, with the, the lip with, with the, the lips, lips the lip, yeah. lip coin and the ear lobes, the ears. Yeah. yeah. Yep. My mate had done his ears. He went um he went uh five sizes, five sizes. Does, so he had a hole. Now? No, that was nothing to do with when I was about. I think when I was sort of mid-teens, that was like a really big trend here. Yeah, yeah that people was, doing yeah. that. I used to finger my mate's ear and he used to go, what are you doing? I go, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so weird. And I used to Did put my hand through. He goes, can so you stop weird. that? I go, no. Did you see the people who used to do the, they would, um, <laughs> they would run up to people and put a padlock through it and then run off. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? That so funny. <laughs> You're kidding. How is this real? That? <laughs> that is the best. <laughs> so how did they take it off? Oh. They can't. <laughs> they have to saw it off. <laughs> it's slack, but it's that funny. Would've... It would be funny. <sighs> oh. 
That's really. crazy. So it's been happening through history. Um, all this um, shaping body modification. Body modification. Well, body, body modification. Yeah. There was that lady that um, did body, the, body, body, um, body, body. I think she was from US and yeah, she body, 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 body. liked the rings and she did it. She had it for a few years but ended up taking them off eventually. But but, but all this stuff, like there was no it, need for the, like it was, do you know anything about the uh, um, neck extensions or the, was there any reason for that or was that? It's just their form of beauty. That's their form, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same as like the foot it's, binding. And... It's weird, eh? So it's true. The, they, want to look it's... Like the, they want to look like a giraffe. No, they didn't want to want to. They didn't want to look long neck. Hey, no, but that's not the reason why they did no, it. No, they just thought their long neck looked beautiful. Hmm. So, so, so some weirdo was attracted to a giraffe. I mean, when you think <laughs> about that though, like the the neck one, probably the most out of all of them. Isn't it incredible that your body can adjust like that, though? Yes. Yeah, but it, it but doesn't actually you lengthen off, your neck. It it's pushing down your connect, collarbone. Connect, yeah. Yeah, but it's still. I know. Like, it, you're changing the shape of your body. Like it's, yeah. And like yeah. the lip, the lipstone ones. Like that. Like. I know. Yeah. We're quite, uh, we're quite elastic, aren't we, humans? We are elastic. 